In this short series, we're going to be building a jQuery plugin that basically checks any field within a form that you specify, and it will check whether that particular value exists in a database or not. So for example, if I was filling in a form to sign up and I needed to choose a username, uh, I could start typing a username. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell me if this value is already taken or not. Uh, so then I can go ahead and choose another username and it tells me that it is available. And we can do the same for other fields as well. So we're going to make this entirely flexible so you can use it for more than one field. In this case, I'm doing it for email, which doesn't really make sense. Um, it probably does make sense in a way, uh, but you might not want to include it for email. Uh, so for example, if I was to type alex at codecourse.com, uh, it was available because I was still typing, but then once I finished typing, uh, you can see it's already taken. So what I can then do is uh, go ahead and just change this and uh, now it tells me it's available. And then the user can hit sign up and you would obviously uh, still have your back end checks. That's really important. You should never ever rely on front end validation uh, you know, to prevent the user perhaps from submitting the form anyway. You still want your back end checks in there. Anyway, let's take a brief look at what, what the markup looks like just so you know how it's implemented. Um, here we've just got a form which goes through to signup.php. This is uh, just a, a page that doesn't exist at the moment. Now in here we've got the form field for the username. I've wrapped this in just a div here. But the input here has a class of check exists which later on, once we've loaded in both jQuery and our main.js file where, we, where we'll be writing our plugin, we can use check exist and then we can actually activate our plugin on any element that has check exists. So obviously this selector will return the jQuery object and then uh, the exist checker is that function that we're going to be building. So um, we have a data type here, which is essentially the type that you're going to pass through to your back end. And then you'll have some kind of if statement or switch to check your database. It does sound a little bit complicated, but we're going to build this up from scratch and it will actually be fairly straightforward. Um, and a lot of this does make sense. It's, it's just uh, about understanding how this needs to be put together. Um, and obviously we're duplicating this for the email field as well. We just have data type as email. Um, and this uh, span here is basically just where the user will see the message. Um, so this is where we inject text into uh, to say, sorry, that uh, particular email is in use or that username is in use. You can go ahead and adjust the markup to how you need it. You could probably tidy this up a little bit. Um, but for now, this is just going to be a really easy way of doing this. And you can change it to suit your needs. So in the next video, we're going to be building up the back end side of this. So we can actually look at uh, how we check in the database and then we'll apply the front end side of it uh, in the last part.